the time you guys hear this, we'll already have a winner. But I kind of, obviously, it's like a pop culture thing. So I wanted to bring it up. Who are you going for um, this year for Super Bowl? So actually, Mal and I talked about this before the episode. And I know I'm going for the Chiefs. And we have kind of similar reasons. I mean, I, I know that you have more have different reasons, reasons. But yeah. I think that, um, well, I just looked it up. Well, obviously, <laughs> Travis Kelsey is on the Chiefs. And as much as, like, I'm sick of hearing about Taylor Swift, I'm sick of whatever, I hope her and Travis Kelsey work out. because Me too. She, <laughs> no, she has been through so many guys. She's gone through so much heartache. Just as a person, I hope they do. I that's all I'm gonna say about that right and like <laughs> forgive me for loving love I'm sorry yeah, I, I love love <laughs> forgive me those of you who are rooting for her to like break up and make another album lame lame I'm sorry I yeah. love love sue me yeah <laughs> and then the other thing is that uh um I'm looking up his name right now uh I literally had it pulled up Tucker. Butner, the Butker yeah. guy <laughs> Harrison <laughs> Butker um he's also on the Chiefs and Mel and I were talking about because I think he's done he's done a couple cool things, but he wore a tie that live action made that says it's in Latin and I can't see it very well here, but uh, it says protect the vulnerable in Latin, um, and he had a gold the gold pin that said that is the little precious feet pin. He wore this and it was like a huge deal uh, when he was standing behind Joe Biden at a press conference. A while ago, it was, this was like six months ago, but we like, um, you know, created it for him and all this stuff. And you can see, like, if you look up Harrison Bucker pro-life tie, you can see him, like Biden's talking and you can see him in the back with this tie on. It's just, it's iconic. I love, I love when, um, high profile people share their beliefs in like, in like very simple ways such as this, you know, because they know that there's going to be press there. They know that there's going to be a ton of photos taken. They don't have to go and shout, I'm pro-life, whatever. All you have to do is wear a tie. The tie's in Latin. Like, honestly, Biden probably didn't even see it or notice it. Um, but when the photo is shared, it's going to be news, you know, because it's going to be like, oh, what does his tie say? Oh, it says protect the vulnerable in Latin. Like, what does that mean? Oh, what does this pin mean? That's amazing. So he is amazing. Iconic. So I don't really pay attention to football, but there's two really cool players on the team that I'm rooting for this year. That is iconic. I feel like I heard this story, but, you know, yeah. it I'm a while really ago. A, it was a while ago. Yeah. And I'm not really a sports girly. I'll admit that. So, like, it probably went over my head. But now that, you know, for the next week or so, I have to be a sports girly. I know, right? I, um, now I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So, yeah, <laughs> that, he is the main reason that I am um, going for the Chiefs. Also, of course, you know, I love love, so I'm voting for Team Love. And then another reason. Let me explain something to you guys. I said this on my Facebook, and people laugh, but this is how I truly feel. I'm not a sports girly. I was like, okay, let me, I, first I was like, I think I'm going to go for the, because I said I was going for the 49ers, and then someone's like, they were mm -hmm. in the, not the 49ers, the Chiefs, they were like, they were in the in the Super Bowl last year, and I was like, oh, that's true, they were, so I should go for the 49ers, because I like an underdog. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you will never believe this, the 49ers have also been to the last four out of five Super Bowls as well, so they both mm -hmm. go to the Super Bowl, yeah, oh, they wow. both are good at winning, so I'm like, yeah, and I know this is dumb, but they should give someone else a chance. I know that's not how sports works. I know that's yeah, not how sports I, works. I didn't know that. I mean, why aren't more people talking about that? Right. <laughs> like, what? Come on, other teams. Like, you can't yeah. let these same people. And um, so then I was like, okay, I can't root for the 49ers either. They've been tons of time. So then I went back to the Chiefs and then, mm -hmm. you know, Butner and Kelsey. So I was like, okay, I'm going, I'm sticking with the Chiefs now. But that was my yeah. mindset. I did want, I typically like to go for the loser team, the team that isn't as good. Um, I don't know. That's just more fun. But yeah. now I'm going for the Chiefs. So, and they're both red, okay. by the way. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna that's tell them apart. Thing. That's another thing. I don't understand football anyway. My uh, husband played football in high school, so he really likes it. Yeah. Um, so he always understands it. But I like going to football games in person. Like me I too. Would, you know, like I love that. And I mean, yeah, the Super Bowl. Obviously, we're gonna watch it. It's one Sunday a year, and I love seeing the ads and the yes. And the half you no, know, even because there's always there's always controversy. There's always something, you know, so whether it's good or whether it's bad. Yeah, there's 
always something newsworthy. And so I like to keep up to date on what the heck is going on there. Um, so at least the past few years, I definitely have watched it, but not necessarily for the football part. Yeah, no, literally. And the last party I went to last year was with some of my friends and I think it was mainly guys there and they would talk during the commercials and I'm like, um, this is so awkward because this is yeah, the best like, part um, and y'all like stop. This is the part I want to watch. Like, <laughs> yeah, literally. I know. I remember that last year. I was with my, <laughs> some of my family down here last year. Like they were vacationing somewhere and I went down to visit and then my brother came. And so, yeah, at the halftime, I mean, my family's a little bit more into like the, the controversial stuff, you know, so the, yeah. the, some of them were interested and some of them were just like, oh, this is when we go get our snacks. I'm like, no, this is what I care about. Like, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was such a, is she pregnant? Is she not pregnant? Like our whole, well, everybody at the party. I knew in, initially, I was like, oh, she's 100% pregnant. Yeah. I couldn't remember how long ago she had the baby. So I was like, maybe it was still, cause you know, sometimes yeah. not everybody bounces back that's right true, away. That's true, that's so true. I was like, is she, maybe it's still from the baby, but then she like announced she's pregnant. I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, that was like super like, is she pregnant? Is she not pregnant? Ooh, that was so, iconic though. I love it. It was iconic. I love it. I know, me too. It was such a good performance. And literally, it went, I think I waited maybe like 10 minutes, and I was like, okay, everybody, have a good rest of the night. Like, I don't care about Oh, yeah, and you were like, okay, bye. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, all right, bye. I'll see you, everybody. (laughs) No, literally, I saw why I came, so I'll see you later. It's getting a little late. Yeah, Um, I don't think I watch, I never watched to the end, really. (laughs) No, no. I I can hear about it the next day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's our that's our sports segment. Um, I guess by the time you guys hear this, we'll have a winner. I guess tell us who you were going for by the time you hear this. Um, yeah. hopefully something cool happened, and like if something really cool happened during the Super Bowl, add it to the comments. Be like, oh, this cool thing that happened was I crazy. I think it will. I there's hope always, so. I, there's always something that people are talking about after the Super Bowl. Yeah, I hope something crazy happens. I hope it's very entertaining. That's. As mm-hmm. a non-sports fan, that would make me want to be more involved, included in everything. As if, you know, somebody pop culture-wise is something crazy. 